We are on the third day of ENA Trade Fairs here at Utrecht and we kept the best for last. With me is Eric de Jong from GW Instech. Nice to meet you, sir. Uh, nice to meet you, Alex. <laughs> hey, uh, could you tell our viewers a little bit about Instech and what yeah. uh, offer you have here on the stand? Right, okay, good. Good, thanks for the introduction. So, yeah, uh, so welcome uh, to me, viewers. Uh, welcome to our uh, electronics and application booth. Um, let's say GW Instech is a Taiwanese company from nature, uh, founded in the last, you know, in the last previous century. Um, our base core business is power. So this is where we started building power supplies. And from there we are expanded uh, our portfolio, as you can see right here. In this part, we have the power part. Yeah, so this part is typically about AC loads and DC loads uh, um, and benchtop power supplies. Um, then we have um, introduced our new battery meter, the GBM series, as you can see here. It's available in two versions, an 80 volt and a 300 volt version, uh, which can measure the internal resistance uh, of the battery and the voltage of the battery. Yeah? Uh, if we move along the line, uh, AC power, uh, AC power source is very important. Uh, our APS 7000 series is very popular in the market. And when customers require a very stable uh, AC uh, output uh, with some additional, let's say, measurement features, you know, the AC power is, uh, is uh, APS unit is great. When AC source is not enough, and you would like to have also DC, then our ASR 2000 series, like you can see here, uh, is the solution for, for your measurement needs. Uh, we have a 500 VA, 1000 VA, uh, 2000, 3000, and 4000 uh, VA uh, units in our, our um, uh, portfolio. Our GSP 9300 spectrum analyzers is a series of, um, let's say, high quality spectrum analyzers up to 3 gigahertz, up to 3.3 gigahertz. Uh, the 9300 series consists of a basic 9300B series. In addition, we also have our um, 9330 um, spectrum analyzer, which is our pre-compliance, uh, PMC pre-compliance spectrum analyzer. Um, Eric, so those devices, uh, okay, very yeah. reliable, and we have a broad spectrum, but you also make the uh, additional accessories for them, right? Sure. Like yeah. test leads, like, uh, um, any different types of probes? Yes, we do offer a, a full solution, a total solution. Uh, uh, a lot of the instruments come with free software, which the customer can download from our website. And of course, we have a full assortment of accessories, like, uh, like uh, let's say, high voltage probes, passive probes, current probes, but also specialized probes for, let's say, for our spectrum analyzer, uh, like the, EM, uh, mm -hmm. the, the EMI uh, probe kit. Uh, right here. Okay, so with me is Mr. Uh, Wayne Wong, also from Instec. And uh, can you describe us in more details about the power supplies that we have? Because this is what you are doing the best. We uh, introduced us from the uh, DC load and uh, the PSW power supply. Actually, uh, here you can see we use the, the super capacitor to simulate the battery to use the, the DC load and the power supply to combine to, uh, as a uh, charger and discharge test. And here, uh, power supply, we provide the power to the uh, capacitors. And here in digital, we, uh, we use uh, two channels. One channel, one module is for charging, and uh, another module for discharge. So here we program the uh, 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 three steps. Steps one is uh, charge one amp for the, uh, three minutes. And step two is for charge for two minutes. And step three is uh, discharge for the, uh, 168 seconds. So here you can see, the, here this value is the uh, battery value. Now it's uh, in the step the two, charge with the two amps, two amps. So now the uh, battery voltage is increased. You can see the voltage is increased. And then next step will uh, discharge and uh, this current will go to the uh, 2.5 amps. And then you can see the battery voltage will going down. How, how to use the digital and the battery to do the 
uh, battery charger discharge. So this you can also have with different types of batteries. So you can select what is your charge rate, your discharge rate, uh, voltages and the currents that you want to uh, test your battery? Yes, exactly. For every battery? Uh, if the battery is allowable, charge and discharge. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here you can see, if, if, you can see that the super capacitor, his uh, spec is a two point, maybe you can see, 2.7 volt. So the reason we here, I set in a 2.7 volt to, to do the, uh, the charge. Okay. And next here is uh, the DCT converter. We use a, a, a GPP series. This is a, we put, this GPP series have a one channel, two channel, three channel, four channel. And here we use a, a one channel as the power operator. And a, another channel is a simple load function. So channel one is setting power to provide power to DC DC converter. And then the channel two we setting is a, a simple a, a, a constant current mode to sync a current from DC DC converter. So here you can do the simple test. Uh, and the provide power and the single power from the UDUT. Okay, the next is a GPN 3300. This is a battery, and uh, you can use a, uh, it's a, a standard function. It can measure, can measure the uh, battery's voltage and the, the AC equivalent resistance. Okay. So this table is about, the, let's say, the latest NPI. We are very proud to introduce uh, our new DAC 9600 series um, data acquisition system. Uh, this is a, uh, a, let's say, new category for GW and SIG, but very promising. And the market is very exciting about, let's say, the new uh, our new offer. It comes with, let's say, a, uh, a 4.3 inch clear TFT color display. It is a mainframe, which in the back has three slots. So we do offer five different um, modules, which could fit here in the three different slots. Right now, two slots are occupied, yeah, and one slot is still open for, for a new module. The unit contains a, a six and a half digit digital multimeter. Yeah, so uh, it does not occupy an extra slot. A six and a half digit multimeter is, is uh, built in in the, in the system. The DAC 9600 does measure uh, 14 different parameters, uh, like temperature, AC-DC voltage, resistance, capacitance, uh, and many, many, many more. And uh, at the end, you can also uh, have the software, of course? Sure, yeah, that's a good, uh, that's a good uh, remark. Uh, our software, uh, our PC software, comes for free and can be downloaded uh, from our website. And I also heard that it comes with GPIB or without yeah. interface. So there are two options. Actually, the standard interfaces are digital I.O., USB, and LAN. And in addition, for, for systems applications, you could also add a GPIB bus, which will be, which, which will be placed right, right here. Let's say we are looking forward to, uh, to a huge success because the market is there. It's a huge market. Uh, and uh, yeah, no, the, the units that we discussed today are available uh, through, uh, through TME. Well, thank you very, very much for this interview. Yes, you're thank welcome. You. Thanks.